<laughs> Welcome to the Nightly Nuge. And Ted, you know, uh, I'm going to start this segment off with heroes. You know, our country needs some heroes. And unfortunately, in Pennsylvania, um, boy, we've just had something tragic happen to a couple of uh, our state trooper heroes in Pennsylvania. State trooper Jacques Rugo was killed up there um, today. And also, uh, Lieutenant James Wagner is in critical condition. And so, you know what, Ted, first of all, what's your take on those heroes and, and the cause of that type of behavior? Well, I know that quality of life in the American dream and life itself pivots upon law and order. Now, I didn't learn that from the anti-education systems of America. I graduated as a mushy brain, know nothing idiot except Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley and James Brown inspiration and the work ethic attached to those great artists. That was the guiding force in my upbringing. But I figured out instinctively, naturally, organically that my happiness will be determined by law and order, by not letting rapists and carjackers and thieves and burglars and home invaders out to do it again. I coined a phrase many, many years ago. And we are losing heroes of law enforcement in two heartbreaking systems right now. Number one, engineered recidivism. 100% of violent crime is perpetrated by people that the court systems in our so-called justice system had in a cage and our so-called court system and justice system let evildoers out knowing damn well they will repeat their evil. So we are losing law enforcement and good American citizens every day. When a hero of the United States Marine Corps intervenes heroically on a subway in New York and stops a violent, life-threatening assault by an engineered, recidivistic, horrible person, the Marine is put in jail. The horrible George Floyd type person is considered a victim. And let me stop. You, let me stop you for a second. You use the word engineered. I mean, by definition, that means planned. I mean, you, you, there's some of our listeners. They're they're like going, "Well, what, what do you mean, Ted? You think this is planned? What do you mean?" There is no question that the judges, the parole boards, the district attorneys, we have so many George Soros, evil pro-crime district attorneys and judges out there and prosecuting attorneys and the system itself. Our attorney general celebrates recidivism. He, he has the choice to direct control of evildoers and the entire anti-justice system led by the Department of anti-justice under Merrick Gardland is celebrating engineered recidivism. It's not a leak virus from Wuhan. The Ch communist Chinese don't leak weapons. They unleash weapons. This Department of Justice is intentionally and knowingly, there's no other explanation. They know that some crimes are 100% historically recidivistic. They know this and they let out the perpetrators of 100% proven recidivistic violent offenders. That isn't happenstance. And again, I reference the Wuhan virus because that's a manifestation of the numb nuttery that is going on in this country. The communist Chinese didn't leak a weaponized weapon, a virus. The American Enola Gay didn't, didn't leak little big boy over Hiroshima. We unleash weapons on purpose. The communist Chinese unleashed that weapon on purpose to destroy America and control the world. Anybody that doesn't get that must be on Michael Moore's toxic tit, getting you toxins in their and losing their mind. The court systems know these repeat offenders will repeat and they let them out. And then cops die that way. W equally horrible as that thief. We are losing law enforcement heroes because they have so lowered the bar of qualifications that now we have blindly obedient numb nuts becoming law enforcement officers who will blindly violate, knowingly violate their sacred oath to the Constitution, and they will obey illegal 
immoral commands. That person that raids Roger Stone, that person that raids innocent people, those ATF and IRS agents that raided that Montana gun store, they obeyed an immoral command. Here's the Nugent and the good people of America's battle cry across America. Law enforcement and military, you must defy immoral oath violating orders from your superiors. In fact, you should arrest your superiors. That's an outrageous statement, Keith, but you know it has my words have iron. So everybody better call their local law enforcement and recommend that only fire breathing warriors become law enforcement that genuflect at the altar of their sacred constitutional oath. Otherwise, the corruption in law enforcement is worse than the other criminal activity. So we pray for the law enforcement heroes. I know so many. I hang out with so many. I communicate on a daily basis with local, state, federal law enforcement agents, and I scold them to be whistleblowers and I and expose the cockroaches that dare command illegal, oath-violating, immoral orders. My name is Ted Nugent. I will never, I will never obey an immoral command. If you tell me, I, I, and I tell you, I must shoot sandhill cranes to protect agriculture, but you immorally tell me that I can't eat a ribeye in the sky, I will dis. Obey. I'll do the right thing. And everybody knows what the right thing is. And I recommend that everybody starts doing the right thing. Last uh, thought and give you the final word, Ted. You mentioned George Soros and the liberal prosecutors that have engineered this recidivism. We also had the defund the police movement, which is still going on. We talked about on a prior nightly news where in California they're allowing illegal immigrants, illegal aliens to be police officers in California now. Um, I don't even need to mention Chicago again, where they celebrated Father's Day by shooting 37 people. Seven of them were killed and the ages between 17 and 58. So and tomorrow, Ted, we're going to talk about education. But while we wrap up this engineered recidivism piece, what do you want to leave our listeners with this week? How do we solve this piece of the problem? We, the people, are smart, instinctual, thoughtful, critical thinking Americans who, who pursue life, liberty, and our own individual happiness. We have got to communicate with our elected employees. I'm going to say it again. And let the mayor and the chief of police and the state trooper commander and your sheriff know that we know what the oath to the Constitution is by law enforcement, and we demand that they adhere to it. And here's how I'm going to wrap it up. If we want safe streets and neighborhoods and a quality of life based on law and order, everybody listening right now to the Nightly Nuge has a moral obligation to get everyone in their life, it's family, friends, campfire, school, church, workplace, to vote for Donald J. Trump in 2024, because he is the real law and order guy. And the reason the anti law and order monsters are attacking him is because he spotlighted the cockroaches of the deep state and the law and order abandonment of the Joe Biden liberal Democrat Marxist satanic government that currently has America in a stranglehold. We must get everybody early vote and we must ballot harvest to vote Donald Trump in 2024 if you really want an American dream, safe, lawful quality of life. Case f***ing closed. Well, tomorrow night, Ted, we're going to talk about the uh, state of our current education system here in America. Ah, I'm sure our listeners can't wait to hear your take on that. See you tomorrow, my friend. Nightly news, truth, logic, and common sense. It will set you free, but you have to act upon it. Mm -hmm.